everybody, welcome to another Start to Continue video one-shot unbox. This time it's both uh, Bill and Joe here to reveal Joe's recent pickups on a recent trip. Bring it on in, Joe. All right, here's box one, guys. Box one. Look at this. this uh, yeah, this is a boatload of uh, Intellivision games that I man uh, managed to pick up. Uh, $2 each. This is crazy. So... I don't know. I can just show you one by one. We got NFL football. It's complete. It's got uh, obviously the instructions. It's got some playbooks, which is hilarious. We'll do a more detailed uh, <laughs> playbooks. Yeah, just quickly go through them. We they're all Joe style inbox sub hunt. With the overlay. Got NBA basketball. Nice. Look at that. Joe can dish. Uh, lock and chase. Pretty cool. Alright. Keep them moving. Let's go. Right. Moving, moving. NSL soccer. People are tuning out. What made you decide to get this giant package of Intellivision Steam. stuff? I, I, television was uh, was one of my favorite game systems back when I was a young kid. My neighbor next door had it, so uh, I've always had a fondness for the system itself. Frog bog. Hey -o. Hours of fun right there. So yeah, I've, uh, I do have an Intellivision at home, just not a major uh, portion of their games until pretty much this haul. Space Hawk, love this one. I don't remember. Oh, that. crap. Yeah. yeah they don't show you many pictures. Astro Smash, version of like uh, uh, What was it? Uh, Space Invaders? Yep. Poker and Blackjack, Poker. good game for kids. I like the art on there, sexy lady. Armor Battle. That's great artwork, too. Not sexy ladies, but... Hey, ladies. Star Strike. All right. Oh, yeah, that's like Buck Rogers. Yeah, that was a... That was one of my favorites. PGA Golf. And a little bit of backgammon for the kids. Yeah, you gotta have the video game version of back in. And the boxing. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, these ones, oh, Space Armada, yeah. That was one of my favorites, too. Yeah, it's definitely Space Invaders. Uh, I did like Utopia. So I'm glad I finally managed to get a copy of this one. Never had that. It's like Risk, almost. Oh. And this one I've never seen or heard of, uh, Vectron. This one was actually, I think, $5. I'm not really sure what the hell that is, but uh, we'll do a review of that one day. So you still buy these individual? You didn't get a big package deal? Uh, yeah, it was still like, uh, this game is good too. I love this one. Focus. That one's signed. Autograph. <laughs> a little bit of demon attack. Pretty happy with this one. I've never, never played it, but uh, just briefly. Really nice mint cartridge and uh, overlay. Oh, it is amazing that the overlays haven't been lost after all these years. Horse racing. Well, I did a piece together. Look at horse racing where it's got all the odds. Mm -hmm. um, I did a bit of uh, hunting through all the catalogs and uh, made sure that all the ones I picked up had everything on our battle. Did I show this one already? Yeah, it's yeah. a double. Oh, that's probably a triple now. I think I had that one already. So you were doing research while you were there on location? No, no, I just uh, basically took the best that I could find there. And then these were individuals. These were a dollar each. Uh, Dragonfire, Star Strike, Advanced D&D. Buzz Bombers, bought that because I have no idea what the hell it is. 
Not fun. That's got to be fun. Another frog bog. Yep, you already had that. Royal Dealer. Never played that one. And Donkey Kong for Intellivision. Yep. You know what the craziest thing is about this whole video is that uh, this is not the only box. Joe has another freaking box coming. I still can't believe you bought this much. Here we go. Crazy time. Holy Jesus. This was more of a parcel deal. Uh, I got these four games for, uh, I think it was $2 each, too. So Space Harrier. Yeah, we all know Space Harrier. Uh, missile again. Defense 3D. Uh, what is this one? Green Dog, the Beach Surfer Dude. For Genesis. Didn't know what the hell that one was. No, I, I never had that. And my favorite, at least in the arcade, Afterburner. Yeah, great arcade game. Love it. So that was individually. Uh, got some Atari games. These were a dollar each. So Star Raiders. Asteroids. Joust. Joust. 7800. Vanguard. And classic Berserk. You were Berserk buying all this. It's crazy. And then these other Atari ones were a dollar as well. So Stargate. Uh, Demons to Diamonds. Journal is popular. Uh, Infiltrate. Great artwork. Night Driver. Driving at night. E.T. E Gotta have that. Uh, Circus Atari. Space Invaders. Star Raiders. Freeway. Combat. I got this one already. And Missile Command. Gotta have Missile Command. So those are all a dollar each. Uh, and then... Oh yeah, okay. So what you see here is uh, the ColecoVision system. Uh, it's complete, power cables and everything, but it also comes with, this is a hard to find, uh, at least in good condition. This is the Atari adapter for the ColecoVision where you can play Atari games on the ColecoVision, which as you know, brought up that whole lawsuit where Coleco got sued by Atari. They did that without permission? They, yeah, yeah, they, they built this system without the license. That's awesome. And Atari was like, hey, guys. Uh, so anyway, I got the system and all these games together in a package deal. This is bringing back memories for me because I had a system that played Coleco. So I got uh, Zaxxon. Zaxxon. Definitely had that. Had Baseball. That. Got a big DK. Definitely had that. Burger Time was my favorite. I never had that one, though. Cosmic Avenger. Mm -hmm. Venture. Yep. <coughs> and these other ones, which I haven't opened yet. Look at the condition of this system, though. It's just. Now I'll show you in a sec. Mouse trap. And what's this? Space Invaders, Pac Man, Phoenix. These could be a little bit better, but Pac Man's nice, though. Miz. And then some uh, baseball, asteroids, defender, another missile command, <clears throat> and then the ColecoVision itself. Obviously, it's a little dusty, but it needs to be cleaned up. But the uh, front of it's nice and sharp. Oh, yeah. No fade in there. Not sure. Height. There we go. So nice. Yeah, everything looks really good. Those paddles don't even look used. God, my hands would get so numb holding those paddles, working the triggers. And then just the, uh, you know, color, black and white, difficulty settings, game select, reset. 
expansion module one. They probably were gonna rip off every system, eh? And just call them different expansion modules. Wow. So pretty good. Hadn't planned on getting the stuff, uh, or actually hadn't even planned on finding this much, but I couldn't pass up on the Intellivision. And uh, this is the old uh, RF adapter. But I thought this was cool. Um, so it just shows you, right now it's on uh, game, if you want to put it back to uh, TV. Boop. You see the yellow line just switches, so I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, it shows the current, or the path. Awesome. Well, Joe, congratulations. That was a hell of a haul, man. I love it. I love seeing you spend money. It's so cool. Anyways, if you like this, uh, follow us on Twitter at STCPod, and don't forget to check out our podcast. And uh, you can drop us a line at starttocontinuemail at gmail.com if you want. And thanks a lot. See you later. <laughs>